So how do other law enforcement agencies in our area balance the high expense of body armor with keeping officers safe so they can keep you safe? Well, that's a big question. And nine on your side, I-Team investigator Hillary Lake is digging into that very question to get some answers. Hillary, what did you find out? Well, think of it this way. If you're a chef, you never go in a kitchen without knives and you keep them sharp. If you're in law enforcement, you never go to a scene without a gun or body armor. It's mandatory gear for the job, but like those kitchen knives, it must be kept in stellar condition. You're watching never before seen body cam footage from Alexandria police of a standoff one year ago. No officers were hit, but this officer calls for backup. We got shots fired, need more units. He shot at an officer. It's a first person view of what he faces at work. What you can't see is the body armor he's wearing, a vest like this. That's mine. It has handgun panels in it. And then I have my M4 and stuff under here, too. Alexandria Police Chief Mike Ward shows me the choices he makes to keep his officers safe. Wow, it's not, and it's not as heavy as not this as one. Not as heavy as that. His department switched from body armor worn under a shirt to the type worn over clothes a few years ago. He did it for two reasons. Is when they come in, they're able to peel this off take it off and set it on the chair while they're doing office work. But they also save on wear and tear. I'm going to sweat all day, and that's what breaks down the Kevlar is the body oils over time. According to the National Institute of Justice, every part of the vest, from the outside to the bulletproof plates inside, have a warranty. The recommendation is to replace the vest every five years, and they can cost over $1,000 each. One of your panels here has a seven-year warranty well, on This it. is something that doesn't go against, directly against my, my body. I contacted eight law enforcement agencies in the Cincinnati and northern Kentucky areas. Spokesmen for these departments tell me they get new body armor every five years per the National Institute of Justice guideline. What is the risk of using a panel that the warranty has expired? I'd r much rather wear a, a vest that is out of warranty than not wear a vest at all. But in the end, Alexandria Police Sergeant Natalie Selby says it comes down to safety. Would you rather wear an expired vest or not wear a vest at all? Yeah, I would still continue to wear an expired vest. Absolutely. Go ahead, next please. Call SWAT. Especially in situations like this. Chief Ward tells me his department was awarded a federal grant to help cover some of the costs of those new vests, but departments are only eligible to receive those once every three years. Hillary Lake, nine on your side. Hillary, thank you.